Hey guys, Proper English here. Now, what you're looking at probably looks familiar, except for one major difference. Uh, you can see the screen much better. The contrast is far superior, and we can thank my friend Dubastot for that one. He uh, helped me out and threw together a texture pack for me that's going to offer much better contrast for this type of screen, and I'll be using that um, for these videos from now on. So, there is also some confusion about, about what you saw in this video. And so I thought I'd clarify some of that. So what you're seeing me do right now is run around hitting a bunch of buttons and levers to control everything that's going on. I'm doing it manually, but this would normally be done by a CPU. It's just I'm not going to set up a CPU and try to run it while I'm trying to record this whole process. It's It, it wouldn't work out too well. Um, but that's normally how it would work. You'd be running a program. Now, let's get into exactly what the data is. None of the images that you saw appear on the screen were stored in ROM. What was stored in ROM was a description of those images. So what that means is that, for example, with the line rendering, I stored two endpoints of a line in ROM and used those uh, in my line drawer to generate a line. So rather than loading the image of a line onto the screen, this takes information and renders a line by doing some math, okay? So similarly, uh, for box generation, I stored two corner points uh, of the box in ROM, ran them through my box renderer, and that generated a box that fit the description of the information that I gave it. Okay, so the whole point of this project was to take um, some simple images and assemble them into a more complex image. And this is a very, very early uh, demonstration of the project. There's a lot more to come, both in terms of image generation as well as manipulation, and it's going to be a really cool project. I hope I've gotten your interest with this and that you'll be following along. So thanks for watching. I hope this clarified some stuff, and I'll see you soon.